New video showing the moment convicted murderer Danilo Cavalcante escaped a Pennsylvania prison last week. The 5-foot, 120-pound inmate extended his arms and legs against a narrow section of the exercise yard before crab walking up the wall to the roof and dropping down on the other side. Cavalcante then pushed through multiple layers of razor wire to escape the Chester County Prison. Well, we believe the security measures we had in place were sufficient. They've proven otherwise. And we will quickly, we move quickly to enhance our security measures. County officials say this escape is nearly identical to another inmate's escape at the exact same spot just four months ago. Court documents obtained by CNN describe how that inmate also climbed a wall in an exercise yard and, quote, pulled himself onto the roof of the prison. But the tower guard on duty flagged the inmate. Within five minutes, he was caught. That did not happen last week. The tower officer did not observe nor report the escape. The escape was discovered as part of the inmate counts that occurs when inmates come in from the exercise yard. The tower officer has been put on administrative leave, and the Pennsylvania Attorney General's office is investigating. Meanwhile, pressure continued to build Wednesday to catch Cavalcante. I think that it's a very challenging area. One week on, the search perimeter has been rapidly expanding. On Monday night, Cavalcante was caught on camera in a botanical garden. On Tuesday night, another sighting by a resident in a creek bed, but this time, no video. Everything that I'm able to see, the various sightings that we've had, um, other aspects of this investigation lead me to believe that he is still there in that area. Hundreds of officers, dogs, drones, and helicopters continue to search. Police have created roadblocks, checkpoints, and often issuing warnings. If you see this individual, do not approach him. Fear gripping the community, especially for Sarah Brindau. It was her sister that Cavalcante was convicted of murdering in 2021. You know, with that feeling of fear, of insecurity, she told CNN, fear of him showing up here at home.